Hello, I'm John Gatto, and I travel by the name John Taylor Gatto for reasons I'll explain in a minute. Uh, I was a New York City public school teacher for 30 years, and I resigned from school teaching on the op-ed page of the Wall Street Journal in 1991. And since that time, I've traveled one and a half million miles in all 50 states and eight foreign countries trying to arrest the career of the institution of government schooling. One of the really useful pieces of research that I've engaged in for the past 11 or 12 years is studying the 18 or 20 elite private boarding schools that set the tone for approximately 300 such schools and produce a substantial chunk of our national leadership. I don't think there are many people aware of the fact that in the 2000 presidential election, that four of the six finalists for the presidency went to one or another of these schools. George Bush went to Andover. Uh, John McCain went to Episcopal High. Steve Forbes went to Brooke. And Al Gore, I think Gore went to St. Andrews. But if you let me look at my note, uh, St. Albans in Washington, D.C. Uh, these schools only graduate about a thousand kids a year. This is a nation of 300 million, and yet four of the six finalists for the presidency attended schools that only graduate a thousand a year. So I thought there might be some real utility in finding out what these schools teach as opposed to what public schools teach. And that job proved to be much easier than I thought. So I'd like to share with you the 14 principles that I discovered that are universal among these schools. Even though each is quite a different animal than the next, they all concentrate on these 14 themes. The first of these themes is that no good kid should graduate without a theory of human nature. What makes people tick? What buttons do you press to get the results from your fellow man and woman that you want? And where does the fund of lore come from? Not from psychology, not even in a small way. The fund of lore about human nature comes from history, philosophy, theology, that's a curse word, isn't it, in public schooling, literature, and law. These five mighty agencies of human history and the human mind have a wealth of information about what human beings are like now, have been like, and probably always will be like. And every kid is expected to have a degree of expertise drawn from these sources. I guess I should say these databases. The second requirement of these schools is that every graduate have a strong experience with the act of literacies. Now we're all familiar with literacy as some exercise in reading, but the act of literacies are writing and public speaking. No matter how well developed your mind becomes on strong texts, it's useless to convince anyone else of your point of view unless you can write well and you can speak well. I think we've come to this juncture in history believing that that's some 
God-given gift that only a few people have, I can guarantee you, as a school teacher for 30 years, that both of those skills are extremely easy to teach. To teach public speaking, you simply have to offer regular opportunities to speak before a group of strangers. That could be a group as small as one, two, or three, or it could be an auditorium full of strangers. But the fact that they're not people that you feel comfortable with, I think is essential. To write well, it requires nothing more than that you write constantly and regularly, every day, preferably. The improvement will occur quite naturally. At that point, you might be able to profitably use some expert intervention, but in the process of reaching competency, intervention is the worst possible thing, simply the practice of doing it. So now we have a theory of human nature and skill in the act of literacies. Number three uh, among the curriculum themes that unite these elite private boarding schools is insight into the major institutional forms like our courts or our corporations or our military, including details of the ideas which drive them. I want to give you one sample of this so you can see how, how seriously uh, government schools fall short of the mark in offering insight into these institutions.